Water is what makes this planet unique. Liquid water is extremely rare in the universe, and yet it is the source of all life on the planet, from the smallest plant to the largest mammal. And it may be the only reason life emerged over three billion years ago. Our planet lies at just the right distance from the sun for the oceans to remain liquid. If the Earth were as close to the sun as our neighbor Venus, all water would vaporize. Water is a requirement for virtually all living things. In humans, it makes up more than half of our body mass. In a newborn infant, the percentage may be as high as 75%. By the time we are fully grown, we are closer to 57% water. As we age, that percentage sinks. Covering more than 71% of the Earth's surface, water seems enormously abundant. Yet, only 2.5% of the Earth's water is fresh water and less than 1% usable by humans. This fresh water has the burden of many purposes. Drinking the recommended 13 cups a day is just the beginning. Americans use an average of 100 gallons per day in the home. We use an average of 20 gallons in the shower, two gallons when we leave the faucet on while brushing teeth, three gallons to flush the toilet, four to 10 gallons in the dishwasher, 25 gallons in the clothes washer, and the list goes on. Outside the house, we use even more, with nearly 9 billion gallons per day going to lawns and gardens nationwide. Half of that goes to waste. Americans use an average of 320 gallons a day, but these numbers only take into account the water we use directly. To understand our effect on the water supply, we need to look at our total water footprint. Everything we use or consume has an industrial or agricultural footprint. Agriculture taking up to 70% of all water consumption. A simple bottle of water requires three and a half bottles of water to make. Now consider what you eat. What went into this club sandwich? The growing and harvesting of crops, the raising and slaughtering of meat, the processing of grain all add up to over 600 gallons of water. Manufactured goods like computers can use massive volumes of water. The average computer chip costing over 4,000 gallons of water. And the power used to run it a typical 60 megawatt coal-fired power plant consumes 600,000 gallons a day. This brings the average American water footprint to over 2,000 gallons per person per day. To get some perspective on these numbers, we can look at Europe, where water use is about half of ours. Or to parts of Central Africa, where it is less than 20% of ours. However, these numbers don't tell us about access, how easy it is to get to the water. For people in poor and dry countries, the only water source is often polluted. Spare change? So why is all of this important now? Because of demand. The Earth has a natural water cycle that can replenish much of what we take out. However, we are currently extracting water from Earth at one and a half times that rate. As population and climate change stress this cycle, the demands will outpace supply even more. Simultaneously, more than 2.5 billion people lack access to safe drinking water and adequate sanitation. The World Health Organization estimates that a combination of unsafe water, inadequate sanitation, and poor hygiene kills 200 people an hour. By 2020, many developing countries will see severe freshwater scarcity. If these countries catch up to the North American rate of use, we will need three and a half Earths to supply them. When water is scarce, all other social, economic, and environmental issues are overshadowed. As glaciers recede and aquifers are emptied, many of the regions without access will find themselves in conflict. For some developing countries, water shortages could be a scenario for war. If India continues to dam the tributaries of the Indus River in order to meet its power needs, Pakistan's water supply could be choked off. In 2002, the Bureau of Reclamation prepared an analysis of potential water supply crises in the western U.S., putting the Bay Area in a potential conflict zone. In 2008, water in the Bay Area had to be rationed. This could very likely happen again, and if it does, it will mean billions in economic losses to our region. In the Bay Area, water is easily accessible. What would it be like if it wasn't? 
What if we were part of the 2.5 billion people without clean water? What if our water just turned off? Where would you look for water? Do you have an emergency supply? Do your friends and family? Would you continue to go through your normal routine? Where does your water come from? Who owns it? Good morning. This is the East Bay Municipal Utility District. Operator. For English, press 1. Operator. We are currently experiencing Operator. a high volume of calls. Representative! The approximate wait time is 3 hours. Who has the right to pollute and exploit it? Hey. Hey, is your water out? Hello? Could you live off the plants that grow natively? When you approach death from extreme dehydration, it becomes hard to breathe. Your skin cracks and you bleed from the eyes. Where is your watershed? How low is it? When water is scarce, will society break down? My water! What? No! Would you fight for it? Give it! As time runs out on the global water clock, we will need to use less water if we are to survive as a species. How does it feel? Vapor to vapor, ice to ice. Water is a part of us. We must use less, uncomfortably less. <laughs>